हेलो एवरीवन व्हाट इज अ रेड रेड इज अ वर्चुअल डिस्क टेक्नोलॉजी दैट कंबाइंस मल्टीपल फिजिकल हार्ड ड्राइव्स इनटू वन यूनिट बेसिकली रेड इज यूज्ड टू इंक्रीज द परफॉर्मेंस रिडंडेंसी एंड रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ डेटा रेड स्टैंड्स फॉर रिडंडेंट अरे ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट डिस्क इट वर्क्स बाय प्लेसिंग डेटा आर स्टोरिंग द सेम इंफॉर्मेशन साइमल्टेनियसली इन अ बैलेंस्ड वे ऑन मल्टीपल हार्ड ड्राइव्स multiple hard drives increase the mean time between failures and protect data in case of hard drive crash data is stored redundantly which increases the fault tolerance let me get your head around something really important a device is used to manage and control the hard drives known as raid controller it could be hardware based or software based hardware based can be built into a server's motherboard while software based can be included in some windows versions such as windows server 2012 as well as mac operating system x hardware raid controllers cost more than software but they offer better performance raid systems can be used with several interfaces including sata scsi ide and fc there are some techniques that are used in raid for data storing such as striping data is split between multiple disks mirroring data is mirrored or copied between multiple disks parity also known as checksum parity is a calculated value used to rebuild data now raid has different levels however not all the levels provide redundancy let's start with the first one raid 0 this configuration has striping which means data is spread or split up between two disks it provides no redundancy of data it offers the best performance both in read and write operations but it's not a fault tolerant if one drive fails all the data in read zero array will be lost so it's not reliable it is used particularly for live streaming where people need high speed but low reliability the drawback is all the storage capacity is used in read zero raid 1 also known as disk mirroring and is a fault tolerant there is no striping in raid 1 it requires at least two drives data is duplicated or copied on the second drive which means two drives will have the same data so in the case of a single drive failure data loss would not occur because the second drive would have the same data in raid 1 read performance is improved because either disk can be read at the same time write performance is the same as for single disk storage the main drawback is storage capacity is only half of the total capacity because all data is copied twice it is ideal for accounting systems raid 5 it's the most common type of raid level it offers striping with parity it requires at least 3 drives but can work with up to 16 data is striped across all the drives and parity is also spread across all the drives along with data parity is used to rebuild the data in case of a disk crash the best thing is raid 5 can handle a single hard drive failure without losing data for example if one drive fails you still have access to all the data just replace the broken drive and the storage controller will restore the data on the new drive using parity information best for file storage servers in raid 5 3 drives are used to store actual data and one drive is used to store parity if you are using 3 drives in raid 5 then two drives will be used for data and one for parity raid 6 this technique is similar to raid 5 but it requires at least four drives and it can support two hard drives failure simultaneously raid 6 offers a double parity scheme distributed across all the drives in the array the use of second parity enables the array to continue working without losing data if two drives fail at the same time all you need to do is replace the broken drives and raid 6 will use the double parity information from other drives to rebuild the new drives Honestly speaking chances are very low that two drives break down together 
however if a drive in a raid 5 fails and is replaced by a new drive it takes more than a day to restore the exchange drive if another drive crashes during that time you still would lose all your data with raid 6 the raid array will even survive after losing the second drive it is suitable for application servers in raid 6 setup two drives are used for actual data storage and two drives are used to store double parity let's talk about the last one raid 10 it's a combination of RAID 1 and RAID 0, also known as nested or hybrid RAID. It offers a higher speed than RAID 1 and more redundancy than RAID 0. It provides security by mirroring all data on secondary drives while using striping across each set of drives to speed up data transfers. Technically, in RAID 10 setup, two drives are mirrored using RAID 1, then both drives are striped using RAID 0. Therefore, RAID 10 get the benefit from the fault tolerance of RAID 1 and the speed of RAID 0. If something goes wrong with one of the disks in a RAID 10 system, rebuild time is very fast. All that is ne needed is copying all the data from the surviving disk to a new drive. This can take up to 30 minutes for drives of 1 terabyte. RAID 10 uses 50% storage capacity of the whole storage. It is preferable for data servers. Here is final thought. RAID should not be considered a replacement for backing up data. If crucial data is going to be stored on a RAID, it also should be backed up to another physical drive for safety reasons. Alright, so this wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.